reporting on the games you love by people who love to game. The MMO Reporter Network. Hello and welcome to Happy Hearthstone number 59. Uh, this is Josh Augustine and I'm here with two wonderful people. We have, uh, actually why don't you guys just introduce yourself. Yeah, my name is Yang Wu. I'm senior producer on the Hearthstone team. Uh, I'm Eric Dodds. I'm the game director on Hearthstone. Awesome. So, have either one of you guys um, been executive producer on a movie? <laughs> yes, I have, but <laughs> I think Lindsay will destroy me if I keep talking about this. Okay. So you should probably focus <laughs> yeah, okay, on exactly. Hearthstone. All right, we'll focus on Hearthstone. I'm very excited to talk about League of Explorers. Woo! So, before we get to that, <laughs> the first thing we do on each episode okay. is talk, say why we're happy, because it's Happy Hearthstone, the show. Um, so, I'm happy, because right after this, I'm going upstairs to battle a Devon Hearthstone. I'm excited. Um, why are so, you happy? So you may not be so happy yeah. after you battle a death? <laughs> That's why I need to be happy before, because there will be sadness afterwards. <laughs> uh, I'm happy because I've been dying to talk about League of Explorers for a really long time, uh, and we finally get to share it with the world. And uh, It's just one of those exciting things about releasing and announcing more content. Yeah. And I'm happy, I think, because I just spent two days at BlizzCon, and it is amazing to work on a game that is something you feel passionately about, but but normally you think of it as your job. You just go to yeah. work and work on this game, and you spend two days surrounded by people who share and and yeah. even exceed that passion. It's kind of mind blowing. Yeah. So yeah, just being up in the Hearthstone Tavern, it was so cool because everyone was so friendly. I'm used yeah. to online communities that are kind of mean sometimes, yeah, yeah, yeah. but you get in there and people are just like, "Hey, want to play a game?" And like, you make best friends. Yeah. Actually, I got a question for you guys because hmm. I got handed this card uh, by George. It's a Battle.net business card. Have you ever seen someone do this before? It's just his name and his battle tag and then his email. Uh, and he was just like, hey, you want to play Hearthstone? Add me. And he was just passing them out. That's pretty cool. That is cool. I've never seen never that. Okay, but that, that is awesome. It yeah. seems like that's perfect. I want to do that for next year at BlizzCon. It seems really cool. Yeah, we totally should. And he's rocking the Zerg logo. So Zerg and Hearthstone together? Yeah. Crazy. Oh, I didn't even think about it. Zerg logo kind of looks like the Hearthstone. Logo. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. <laughs> I, I'm now disturbed. <laughs> I am disturbed. disturbed. Uh-oh, it's that, that's going to be like Expansion 20. It's mm. revealed it was Zerg all along. Um, so League of Explorers came out. Awesome. Super fun. Um, you guys have been answering questions about it all day, so I'm going to take a slightly different approach. Okay. Um, did you watch any movies to research what sort of cool things you would escape in a ruined temple or anything like that? <laughs> Uh, I mean, uh, me personally, I haven't really watched a movie specifically, but okay. uh, I'm really into that kind of genre, um, yeah. kind of this uh, like pulp adventure. And uh, if you look at our trailer, um, and you know, some some other uh, maybe movies or books have kind of handled this topic as well. But I'm really into uh, like that style of like uh, like radio announcement, and, yeah. uh, kind of like 1950s feel. So uh, yeah, that's been really exciting about uh, League of Explorers. I, I mean, I did see, I think, a movie semi-recently with a guy with a hat and a whip that, that, that <laughs> I liked. But yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, so... That one. <laughs> <laughs> so there were super fun characters. I love this group of four that you guys are bringing in with the League of Explorers. Um, if you had to pick one and only one to go on an adventure with, which one would you go on an adventure with? Hmm. Wow. This is a good question. Yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I know you guys were hinting um, uh, the one guy was super kind of shady, so he doesn't seem like a good choice. Yeah, no, yeah, but, but this guy's pretty fun, though. He's pretty, you would have yeah. a good time and on that adventure. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. you would know if there were any any trouble ahead because he'd probably set it off first, so you could probably escape. <laughs> yeah. Send them first. <laughs> well, you would be going first anyway, <laughs> yeah. probably. Yeah. And if you traveled with Elise, you would probably have the highest chance of surviving because she would actually know what perils were there. In fact, you, you, she might go, well, yeah, we probably don't want to go to that place. <laughs> but would you listen to her? Oh, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Elise, okay. Yeah. Elise is the one doing. you listen to. Okay. But, you know, maybe she has a little bit of a hard time relaxing. So uh, maybe if you're going for a fun trip, maybe she'd be, like, uh, too into, uh, by this time, we need to be at the campsite. That's and by true. that time, we need to get to the next destination. I would probably, uh, if I had to hang out with one of them, I'd probably hang out with Brand Bronzebeard. Okay. Um, if we ever to enter a Titan artifact site, he will probably kill us both by pressing <laughs> all the buttons. Uh, but like, I think his brain kind of works the way I do. Like, uh, he's he's very passionate about um, 
what he's into, which is the origin of his people and the history of the Titans. Uh, so I think we can really geek out about that. Um, I identify a lot with dwarves in World of Warcraft. Yeah. My, uh, my main character is a dwarven paladin, so I think he and I will get along. I just gotta, I don't know, like bring a net gun maybe, so once he like <laughs> starts pressing buttons, I just shoot, just him, shoot him and drag him out of the room. <laughs> sure. Yeah, I think I would have to travel with Elise actually, because I think, <laughs> I, I'd like to think anyway, my brain works more like hers does, uh, which sure, is to yeah, say, yeah, yeah. We, would, we would stand and analyze a situation and make sure what is the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and I think our odds of being successful would go way, way, way up if I was traveling with Elise. That's totally true. That does seem yeah. like the safe choice. That's good. So if you were in a room, and, all right, so there's a pillar in the middle. The golden monkey is sitting on it. Do you take it? Uh, I, uh, that's, this just feels like a very risky maneuver. I mean, here's the way I would think about that is, here is this, what looks like a precious artifact. It's just, yeah. it's just sitting there. Yeah. And I couldn't possibly be the first one to be in this room. <laughs> it's still sitting there. So I would worry about all the other people who try to take it. Yeah. So I would probably leave it. Yeah. <laughs> I think for me it would depend a lot on who I was traveling with. Because oh, if I was true. with Elise, yeah, yeah, she would yeah. probably be able to no. tell me about the traps and yeah. exactly the weight I would have to put on it. Sure. And so I probably could get around it that way. And if I was traveling with Reno, I would probably just say, look, it's golden. <laughs> and then stand back and hope he survived as wow. he grabbed the, uh, the <laughs> golden monkey. That makes you a terrible person. Um, well, you know, Reno seems to get by somehow. Yes, it's okay. like magic. Right. No, you know, magic shield. There, and trouble if, just slides if off. If I of thought him. he was actually going to get hurt, I agree that would make me okay. a bad person. But <laughs> Reno Jackson, he does have the ability to do to make terrible life choices <laughs> and still be successful somehow. So. Okay. And you know, Sir Finley might not be a bad choice either. He's 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 terribly educated, and you know, he he would know a lot about uh, you know maybe not as much as Elise, but I think he would yeah. know what's going on with this artifact. Seems like he could probably make decent food out there too. He's cultured. Oh yeah, if you want some, you know, Merlot biscuit <laughs> things. I don't know what they. Yeah, I don't know what they call food. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we haven't done enough research, I think, when working on League of Explorers because we don't know what cultured Merlot food is yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. This, but, but these are the pressing should, questions. Yeah, some kind of tea. Oh, um, Mer yeah. 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 Merlot, Merlot tea. tea. Yeah. yeah. So fancy. Merlot breakfast tea. So it sounds like you guys have been having a lot of fun making League of Explorers. Oh yeah. Um, I mean, are there any fun stories you can share with developing this this deck um, or this set? Huh. Well, so uh, you know, as a producer, I kind of like a funny producer story is. Uh, so we were we we're trying to figure out what's the best uh, ability to give uh, Sir Finley Mergleton, and oh. he went through many incarnations. Uh, and in some of them, he was kind of more of a Murloc themed card mm -hmm. where he. Uh, gave or got benefits from Murlocs. We tried that for a little while, but that didn't seem right because he was he's a he's a perfect gentleman. I yeah. think that aspect of him is more maybe important than he just happens to be born a Murloc. Um, yeah. So we're trying out a lot of different ideas. Um, you know, we kind of landed somewhere where we weren't. You know, we were like, you know, we're fine with it, but we weren't super excited about it. And uh, pretty late in the cycle, uh, one of the designer was like, "Oh my god, I got it! It's, <laughs> it's discover, but discover." a hero power and I just looked at his face I'm like what does that even mean man? like like words are coming out of your mouth but like it doesn't mean it like you discover a card like hero power is not even a card like what yeah. would this even look like but um, the designers were like super passionate about this new direction so yeah. we decided to give it a shot prototype it uh, and it turns out the engine could really support this type of craziness um, and we obviously had engineers review it and, and we finally put it in the game and uh you know, I'm really glad we did that. I think I think we can uh, we could be a lot more uptight about these things. I yeah. could have been like, it's like no, the deadline's looming. You're out of time. You can't try it. But uh, I'm really glad that um, Sir Finley does this crazy new thing. You can uh, when you play Sir Finley, you will get three new hero powers, basic hero powers pop up, and it will just replace yours. So you could be armoring up as a mage. You could be, <laughs> you know, you, you can be like facing down a like with a steady shot with uh, with a priest. You know, it's like, hey, you think I'm just gonna heal myself? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> you know, I'm gonna like uh, steady shot you. So uh, it, it became one of the more mind blowing cards of the yeah. set, and um, I'm glad we did that. 
And I gotta say, by the way, that <laughs> Young is awesome for being a huge support to design because very often we will say some crazy thing that we want to do, and Young will take a moment and think about it and go, you know what? If you guys want it, I think we can make it work. So <laughs> yeah. he's always the guy who says, I know there's a production schedule. I know this yeah. is going to cause a lot of chaos. We're going to do this for you. Yeah, I mean, and I think that's you know, part of what makes our team really special is I, I have a lot of trust in the design team to, because I, I always have a chat with them. It's like, yeah. you guys come up with really amazing things, but at the end of the day, we, we need to decide which of these amazing things we can get into the build. We can't do everything. Yeah. So you tell me what's most important. Uh, and I really trust them. And you know, things like Sir Finley, it was like, hey, I think this will really add to yeah. uh, the adventure. And, and I trust that. Uh, I see it in the game. I'm like, holy crap, this yeah. is pretty <laughs> mind-bending. Um, and people's reactions yesterday was yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah, I think it was one of the cards that really raised eyebrows. Maybe yeah. even more than Bran. You yeah. know, which is like, uh, it's like, you know, uh, you're but not more than Elise. <laughs> not more than Elise. Yeah. That's true. That's true. I the mean, card all, that takes two minutes. That's true. true. Uh, all all of the explorer actually is like. Yeah. I mean, even um, even Reno is, is like. Mm -hmm. You can heal up to you know full if that's you have crazy. unique cards in your deck. Yeah. So I'm glad. I, I'm glad Sir Finley is now a, uh, a you know stands toe to toe with his colleagues. Yeah. It would have been saddening <laughs> if he somehow feels inferior. <laughs> <laughs> well, like web toe. Web toe. Yeah. Web yeah. To toe. Yeah. Web, web I guess to he still has toes. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so the thing that's impressed me most, including, I mean, the Tavern Brawl this week you guys did and everything that was announced this adventure set, you guys are really trying new things yeah. that haven't been done and really kind of, it feels almost experimental, kind of exciting in a way. Mm -hmm. uh, is that Was that kind of a, uh, a goal or was it just you guys are just brainstorming and coming up with this stuff? One of the, the things that is one of our stakes in the ground, one of the things that we feel like is core, is Hearth, core to Hearthstone is the concept of delightful surprise. Mm. And you can see it all over the place. You can see it when we say, hey, we're releasing next Thursday. Yeah, <laughs> that is crazy. You can see it when we go, you know what? We think we can do a co-op tavern brawl and we're going to do it for Hearthstone or for BlizzCon week yeah. and we think we, we can get it in and we don't know. Yeah. If it's going to work, we don't know if it's going to be well received, but we're going to do it and see what people think. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or, or if you look at League of Explorers and you go, the the players are totally going to be expecting one of the existing mm -hmm. dungeons or raids. And you know what? Instead, we're going to tell a story, uh, a, like a, a 40s pulp adventure story instead. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's been so fun. All of your guys' expansions and adventures have had these cool, like, themed videos that are just so oh, quirky yeah. and fun. Yes. <laughs> yeah, we really love our trailer. Our, our, our cinematics team works on that. Obviously, we provide some creative input, but they really knock it out of the park every time. So, um, In fact, we are so excited about the trailer. Uh, we are excited about... Uh, kind of giving more visibility to that, maybe even oh. in the client. So oh, cool. uh, maybe we'll do something w with that. Yeah, that'd be um, awesome. It'll, it'll make me very happy if everybody watches that trailer at least once. Oh, yeah. yeah uh, for the League of Explorers, yeah. I have to say, with that specific trailer, it's hard to not walk through the Hearthstone or the Hearthstone team and have someone be humming someone it. is oh. humming that <laughs> we are the Explorers <laughs> League. It's and catchy. Do, 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 do. Yes, yeah, there's yeah, always yeah. someone <laughs> humming that song when you walk through our team area. It's good. It's like a motivating song. You feel oh, energized. Yeah. Yes, totally. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I so another thing we do on Happy Hearthstone every episode we have a card of the week. Okay. And the tradition has been that the guest hosts sing the intro for that segment. Um, you can sing anything you want. It just has to include the words card of the week to any theme you want. Okay. I'm, I know I'm ambushing you guys with this. Do you feel comfortable doing this? Sure, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll go for it. You okay, okay. Okay. Right. okay, you're bold. Yeah. Oh, so uh, card of the week? Yeah, so it just has okay. to include card of the week. You can say anything else you want. Card of the week. This is the card of the week. We are about to talk about the card of the week. <laughs> well done. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Perfect. I liked it. There you go. That was, uh, Tie it in. We've had some pretty bad ones, so that was that was in the top half for sure. That I was, was ready. I was ready. <laughs> I am thinking that in future cinematics, we may have to have you do yeah. the singing. Awesome. That's perfect. Great. <laughs> I love it. So for the card of the week... Hmm. I want you guys to pick okay. what you think is the most funny League of Explorers card. The most funny League of Explorers mm. card. Yeah. 
Gosh, most is pretty hard. There's some really funny ones, like Huge Toad is pretty funny. Yeah. Um, well, is it funny on a mechanical level? Is it funny on a thematic, thematic level? Because yeah. if it's on a thematic level, Sir Finley Mergleton is yeah. <laughs> like way up at the top as far as that's true. comedy value. Yeah, that's true. Um, you know, I, I, I really... There's something about the eerie statue I find to be very funny. Cause there's Me like two. Yeah, right? It's just kind of like standing there. It's very thematic where it's like someone mentioned it on stage yesterday. Yeah. When you turn around, it gets closer. Oh, yeah, exactly. It's, it's like, just like, like, oh, yeah, don't, don't mind me. I'm just standing here. And then like you look around. It's like, whack. You know, yeah. it's like seven damage to your face. Um, yeah, I think it's just pretty funny. I See, I, I like that card. It's very interesting because it, it obviously reminds me of like Silent Watcher. Or something where you put big stats on the board. There's a lot of ways to like manipulate that with yeah. Shadow Flame sure, yeah, or yeah, putting yeah, yeah. Taunt on it. Um, it looks like it uh, has a lot of potential. I'm excited. I think people will come up with some very creative ways to use it and it'll be fun. Yeah. So yeah. do you think Eerie Statue is funnier than Fierce Monkey? <laughs> <laughs> it's so fierce. Fierce Monkey is funny. You know, I, I actually still find Eerie Statue to be funnier. Funnier than Fierce Monkey? Yeah. That's not a question you probably thought you would be no. pondering today. <laughs> but I, it's just funnier. I'm, I'm sticking with Eerie Statue. Okay, Eerie Statue? okay let's go with Eerie Statue then. <laughs> yeah. All right, Eerie Statue is card of the week. Um, super excited. Um, so, last one. Question from the community, actually, that we had on our last show that I tried to come up with an answer for, but I don't know. Mm. Are the actual odds of RNG cards something like implosion? Is it implied that those odds are equal, or are there can there be an imbalance in the odds, kind of built into the card? Do you mean that if it says uh, two to this, four, two to it four. would be equal two has of two and three and four? Yeah, uh, it's for, it's, oh, it's implied that it's yes. that it's the same chance that two okay. or three or four. Yes. It would be the same chance of all of those because when we are making a card it is important to us that as much as possible that what a player would expect is uh is yeah. what will actually happen yeah and where it would get tricky is if we ever made a uh card that played into your gamer's proclivity so if we ever said deals two to twelve damage oh my th word. then a gamer would we would never do that i don't <laughs> think we'd ever do that but a yeah. gamer would think is 2D6. that 2d6 yeah, is yeah, it yeah. a curve oh, you know your gamer yeah. instincts kick in yeah. but but no, it's it's the same chance of each each number. Yeah. Okay. If anyone proves otherwise, uh, shoot me a tweet. It's probably a bug. <laughs> we'll, it we'll get it on the schedule. Yeah, if someone's like, oh, but I played Implosion two million times, <laughs> and I've noticed that uh, like four is. I actually found a fun way to test Implosion with like Lore Walker Cho sure, and yeah, Faceless yeah, yeah. Manipulator. It was fun. Yeah. I got a hundred tests in. Yeah. It was really fun. And what did you discover? Uh, so the first twenty-five were super streaky. But over 100, it balanced out almost perfectly to 33. And that is yeah. what randomness is all yeah. about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you need a pretty significant sample size I yeah. think, for you to feel confident, yeah. Yeah, so it was, it was really fun, though. So thank you guys for being on the show. No problem. Anything else you guys want to share about? I think you should uh, podcast more regularly because, <laughs> uh, you know, I'm, you know I, I listen to the, all the hard, a lot of the Hearthstone podcasts during my commute. I, I like your podcast, but you're pretty spotty, man. I know. So it's gotta, every two get your weeks. Act together. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'll try to. Having an 18-month-old kid is it's rough. Well, you know, I, it's, it's easy for me to listen, and I have a third. That's true. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Well, I know how hard it is. I can't turn down a request from you, young. I have to. All right. So, do your best. So, all right. Thank you very much. It's thank been awesome then. awesome talking to you. This is yeah. fantastic. Yeah, great. It's one of the more fun uh, interviews. So, yeah. thank you. Thank you guys very much. Thanks for watching the video, everybody. Don't forget to check out all the other podcasts at mmoreporter.com or by clicking on any of the links here. And please check out our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash mmoreporter. Thanks, everyone, and see you in game.